Uh, hello people this is uh, gameplay corner here with another video tutorial to explain you how you can import uh, Skyrim 3d models to 3ds max this is very simple and neat trick to do uh, to do this you must be having these three softwares called uh, uh, 3ds max of course follow 3 archive and nifscope and also you will be needing Photoshop or any other softwares which can import uh, DDS plugins it into it so as we start the first thing is first we click on f 3 archive which is a software which will help you to open Skyrim files so uh, I'll choose uh, file open archive go to your installation folder of Skyrim which is probably here these are my installation for installed files this is basically in Skyrim uh, Elder Scrolls we can Skyrim data so you can see it's in data folders so first is first we want the meshes first so click on meshes.bsa file let it open like that click on meshes so choose the model which you want to extract like for example i just want to extract uh, a weapon now so i clicked on weapon and choose uh, um ebony i'll just lay ebony ebony and i choose uh, ebony great sword.nif so actions extract selected files or you can extract them all at once and I did so we have seen that there's a photo called meshes on the desktop so uh, let it be like that now we need the we need the software to open and uh, check what's inside the meshes so I'll go to meshes once again this is where it got uh, extracted ebony so the file is in dot nif that is uh, net immerse game bio model file so to open this NIF file, you'll be needing this software called NIF Scope. I'll put up a link for these softwares on the description. Description, I'm sorry. So you don't have to go and search for it. So after that, um, okay. So now we, after installing the software NIF Scope, uh, right-click Properties, change it, and make it open with NIF Scope.exe. So do that then we have a .nf file here so I'll just double click this and you can see we have the uh, blade but the only one problem now is that it's not textured so what I'll basically do is I export it as obj file which is an object file and I'll just choose it as uh, ebony blade that obj file and after that I'll just close this software because it's been creating conflicts with TeamSpeak so after that um, we need the texture file to open this yes <coughs> sorry so how to extract the textures is very simple just follow the same thing which I've done so far so uh, once again open uh, follow three archive and file open archive and choose uh, textures.psa so here we go so we have the texture files here just the same as before so click on weapons click on ebony and choose ebony uh, now we can see all the files are uh, tds yes so i think we chose the uh, ebony great sword so i'll just click this one m and n is nothing but the uh, uh mesh and um, tds uh, you know extraction uh, uh material me material mesh so we don't have to mess up with that so we'll just extract the normal one ebony grid swat tss actions choose the desktop once again so be easy to uh, access later on so we can we have our uh, textures here happens now the file is in dds format to do that you need a photoshop plugin to import dds files it's very simple i'll just put up a link once again just install the plugin into your photoshop, photoshop folder Photoshop then can open DDS file. Once again, I'll just open this file with Photoshop, and you can see it's opening. So we just choose the these options. Well, I'll just load it to default values, and it, it, there we go. This is our texture here. So I'll just save it as PNG for later access on. Uh, it'll be easy without the uh, help of Photoshop. So I'll just save it as Ebony Great uh, PNG say and choose interlaced for a uh, for a lossless quality 
and you can see ebony create swat.png this is our texture file for the swat so what i'll be doing here is i'll just there are, you can see there are four uh, other resolutions here this is for people who change the texture quality in game so we don't have to mess with that actually you just have to choose the right thing the only one texture you want is the first one the high quality one just close this once you can open the software in front we'll paste it here so we only have one texture here i'll just once you can save it as uh, i have only one texture and close it now we need to import this file on uh, 3ds max so what i'll be doing is file import choose uh, obj wavefront object file and go to uh, ebonyblade.obj which have been extracted from follow archive before so i'll just choose this one choose the right thing i'll just go with the default i don't want uh, any other uh, mesh attached with uh, my blade so just go with the default and I'll, uh, i'm here so here is our blade we have a texture here so go to materials and mm, one texture and i'll just apply it here and there we go our ebony blade is ready for modifications you can do texture modification mesh modifications or um, any other modification or you can even rig it to san andreas and uh, play skyrim's models are very easy to extract and this is how you follow to extract all the models in skyrim so um after you extract you can save your files and to import as well as to follow the same steps just go to nif scope and instead of extract option there's an option called import i'll just show you as we speak so once again this is our file here so after you make your modifications with 3ds max for sharp and shite um file import and we have th two options here 3ds max and object so after let's say for example if you make a modification in 3ds make it as 3ds if you want to make a modification in obg obg file let it be like obg itself so i don't want to make any modifications but make sure that you if you modify one file it should be modified within the one file if you modify one file while you extract and modify four files after that the game will crash so put ca caution on that and uh, everything will be fine and you can make your own modifications all right guys that's it uh, please let me know if you have any other questions on the comment box i'll be very happy to help you guys and uh, please subscribe to my channel like my videos go others uh, go back to my channel you can watch my other videos if you like you can also subscribe to my channel and uh, like or dislike them it's up to you and uh, please let me know uh, if you uh, if you have any other questions i'll be very happy to help you thank you guys have a wonderful great and uh, prosperous night ciao